Bust, 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 I told that baby go Bust, 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 bust Okay, uh, next thing I want to talk about is Tori, pow, 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 pow Bitch, dance, Tori <laughs> Damn. So I was talking about Tori Lanez. Uh, so Tori Lanez, listen, I always say Lanez, but it's not Lanez, it's Lanes. Tori Lanes. I always, I always say Lanez. I don't know. Yeah, but so Tori Lanes has released his um, new, he's released a few tracks, um, but it's part of his whole prison album tape, mixtape that is dropping called Prison Tapes. So he's dropping a whole fucking project from prison. How crazy is that? Um, so the first two two um, songs is dropped. They've been out there. Um, so s- the first one is Cell 245, and the other one is Wish I Never Met You. And I listen to these tracks. Like, I listen to them a little bit. I'm not going to play them because, oh, man, YouTube has really been on my ass. Copyright has just been oh, it shattered my heart. Yesterday, I got a copyright. It wasn't a strike, but it was a copyright um, infringement. And then fucking YouTube, like, you know, they downgraded my channel. You know, it's like, not downgraded, but it's like when they restrict your channel so you can't do certain things. So now I can't, like, pin a a comment or I can't put external links on my description and I need it a lot because you know like if you guys watch the intro to my video if you watch the intro to this video you're watching watch the intro to this video the song in the intro that's my song I made that song so I use the external link to redirect people to the song who whoever made one to listen to the song you know the full song so now when the, the when you can't do that then it's just like a bummer but anyway, it's cool. Anyway, let's get back on topic. So yeah, these two songs, he's released them. So what I want to talk about is just like the fucking quality of these songs. It's really mind-blowing. Like the nigga sounds like he's not even in jail. He sounds like he's home free, Canada. You know what I mean? It's just like, it sounds so clear, so clean. I mean, it's this is incredible. I don't know how they did it. I don't know. You know, people are saying prisons now have studios. I don't, I, I don't believe that. You know, imagine you, you, imagine you are an inmate, you are a criminal, a convict. They send you to a prison, and your fucking prison has Fruity Loops, Pro Tools, Adobe, fucking uh, what's that other one? Ableton, right there, just chilling for you, ready. Like, no, what kind of correction is that? Nah, niggas must be bored out of their mind in jail. I want to see fucking criminals. They must, they must go crazy out of boredom. You can't be out here giving them shit to do when these people are meant to be being reformed. Anyway, so I don't think he has a studio in prison. The the other theories that people are saying. Um, it's the new systems they have there in America where you can record, um, you can record voice, um, voice conversations, voice call through iPads, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. The technology is crazy, but it's just, it still baffles me how the, how the engineer was able to get the vocals to sound like so, so clean, so crispy and so high quality. You know, it's not only that it sounds clean, but it sounds high quality, you know, and you think like how, because to get high quality audio, to mix and master high quality audio, you need high quality audio input. You know what I mean? So you need high quality, you need a high quality recording in order to mix high quality. You see, if you're recording is shit, doesn't matter how how great you are at mixing, you know what I mean? You're not gonna be able to get it to that good because the recording was just shit. So I don't know how to do it, man. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It baffles me. But it's dope. You know, it's not like I'm hating. It's dope. But yeah. You guys go listen to the checks and you guys will know exactly what I'm, ta- what I'm talking about. If you've listened to the checks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Them shit sound too clean. It's crazy. It's crazy. People are saying that the third theory is that people are saying AI involved, you know what I mean? Like Tori probably just maybe wrote some shit and then they get somebody to sing it and then psh, AI, hey, AI, make this person sound like Tori Lanez. And then psh, they do it and then the engineer and then just tweaks the shit. same way Drake uh, was able to make himself um Tupac, you know, when he was dissing Kendrick. So that's the third theory about how those those songs came about. But it's interesting, very interesting. But yeah, uh we'll, we'll leave it there. Shout out to Tori. He actually might have an opportunity to come to come back home to have a retrial because his driver slash bodyguard who was in the incident, he was there the day the incident happened where he, he allegedly shot Megan and all that. He was there. He's now making a stat- uh, statement, testimony, saying, no, nah, man, I actually didn't see t- the nigga hold the gun. I didn't see Tori hold the gun. I didn't see the, 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 the but, you know, so interesting. He might he might have a, a fighting chance to come back. All right, cool. Nah, let's move on. Shout out to Tori. Shout out to Tori. Tori!